everyone i am jay marie thank you for stopping by my channel for you those of you who don't know i just have a um my channel it has different content on it um we have had me and my child just have taste tests we don't call it mukbangs because we don't have lar a large variety of food but we try different things um and I talk about spirituality, uh, my journey in life, and things of that nature. So today I just want to kind of touch bases with you all. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have been on a six-month no dating journey. I've just been focusing on me, my child, and the father. Um, and I just want to give you all an update. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I would apologize, but it's just I've been trying to focus on the father, getting my life in order, focus on, on um, this journey in life. So, um, this is the fourth month, the end of the fourth month. I said I'm not dating until February. Okay, and over these last four months, it has been phenomenal. At first, it was a little challenging because what I would do to fill voids and things of that nature is to talk to men or whatnot. Um, and it was basically, I had to get delivered from that thing. I was dealing with some um, insecurities, some, like I said, I had voids and I was filling them with the wrong things, looking for love and to fill voids in all the wrong places. So over this, last, like I said, the last four months, it has been phenomenal, okay? Um, recently, you know, I have been spending time with the Father every day. I'm praying and um, reading word, asking the Holy Spirit, which is the Ruach, um, for mo most of you may call it the Holy Spirit, to just guide me on where I need to go as far as, you know, in the Bible, which is called the Torah, in my belief, um, just to guide me as to where, you know, what he wants me to read in the passages. And I just want to encourage you all, um, knowing the Father is amazing. Sometimes we look in life we look for things in life to um, make us happy, you know, but no one is going to give you that fulfillment but the Father, you know. Just spending time with him on a daily basis, keeping a journal every day has allowed me to identify some things in myself, you know, and he has been using the Ruach to speak to me as far as like um, the whole dating thing when I started dating again. You know, one thing I would, I realized that I would do wrong, I would tell guys what I'm looking for in a man. Of course, they're gonna be, they're gonna be that person that you want them to be temporarily. That's where we go wrong, ladies. Don't ever give a man. Don't feed them information. Let them show you who they are naturally. Don't tell them what you're looking for. Just let them show you who they are. Um, when you see red flags. Run. Red flags are, are warnings. Take the warnings. Don't second guess yourself, okay? Um, on another note, just spending time with my kid. I, I have a daughter, you know, and our relationship has even grown even more, you know? And, you know, I'm going to be transparent with you all. Um, a lot of relationships that I had has been broken or you know it's a lot it's a few people in my life that I have separated myself from and you know at one point I was like you know it was family it's family and some friends um I'm gonna be transparent um at one point you know I've been friends with this one guy for over I can't remember I'm 35 and I was like 17 so what's that like uh, 18 years yeah 18 years we were friends for 18 years and you know all of a sudden like we was just cool this guy had been married and yada 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 so on and so forth I don't even have an attraction to this guy like we dated when I was younger and things of that nature but I no longer have an attraction to this guy we were just like that was my best friend that was my dude whatever for whatever reason, like we don't talk anymore or whatnot. And I'm not I'm not worried about it. I'm I just believe it's the father. You know, another friend, the father has had revealed some things to me. And that ended, you know, as as far as us being friends, it's a guy friend. Um 
And don't get me wrong, you know, the one friend I've been friends with for like 18 years, it, you know, it, I missed them. You know, I did, but now I'm kind of like, well, okay, Father, your will, not mine. Because I surrender to him. I'm like, you know, I don't. I don't want to live my life anymore going off of what I feel is best for my life because it hasn't been working. I want you, I want to live for you, Father. I want you to guide me, okay? And then I, I get apparently through this process and where he's guiding me, some people are not going to be on that journey with me. And I realize that that's okay. Even with family, you know, there's been some situations that occurred in my family and it made me feel like I was hurt, you know. But then I started to realize, like, look, Joanna, you can no longer do this. You know, like you you don't have to be in toxic situations and toxic em environments, you know. It would be times like I would force myself to be around family and it's like it's uncomfortable. Not saying we have problems or like I dislike them or anything, but it's like I don't do what they do. And it would be like I was just sit there and like be on my phone or like this is not fun for me. I'm not happy. And, you know, just like they were engaging, like talking about each other, even talking about me. And I'm at a place in my life to where I don't want to be involved in that. You know, it's no shame. I love them. I would do anything I can for them. You know, as long as it's it within reason, you know, um, but I just, I want to kind of separate myself. So, um, first and foremost, this year, I kind of minimized the holidays or Thanksgiving because looking at the cultural situations that occurred, like the real truth behind it, it's a pagan holiday. It is not really for Thanksgiving. It's like when the pilgrims came over and like killed like over 700 Native Americans, to take over like their territory and you know and they call it thanksgiving so no i didn't celebrate that you know but i did i did spend time with family my um uh, one of my really great friends she bought a house she have a house and i went over there she hosted um dinner don't get me wrong i did spend time with my family but it wasn't like it wasn't a traditional thanksgiving for me you know like oh i'm celebrating it's like okay i did take that time to love on my friends and my family however christmas is tomorrow i love my family i really do but this year i've decided not to celebrate christmas now i'm be transparent because you know they say it's jesus christ which is really his name is yahuwah hamashik I'm sorry, Yeshua Hamashik. It's his birthday or celebration of his birthday. That is so not true. It's like, it's over, I think it's like 20 something gods. I don't know the exact number. I apologize. But it's gods that celebrate their birthday on tomorrow. And, you know, he, our father, Elohim, he... He says in his word that he's a jealous God. You know, he's not, like my pastor said, he's not going to allow the Savior, the Messiah, to be born on a day that other God, that God's, um celebrate their birthday on and so like if you do research on Christmas, like the tree came from where they used to like hang these uh, heads of people, like um this guy, uh, Saturn. His, he, he was like a sun god uh, or whatnot. His birthday, he cele they celebrate his birthday tomorrow, but he was like this evil person. And that's where like the whole Santa Claus thing came from because some of the things he would, he had this man actually featured Santa Claus or whatnot. Y'all, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm telling y'all, go research it. I'm not trying to put a damper on what your belief is or your traditions and things of that nature. But, you know, we are accountable for our people and whatnot. And, you know, in developing my relationship with the Father, I'm accountable for telling you all the truth. 
And, you know, a lot of people know the truth. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they just don't want to research or really want to practice the truth. But I'm telling y'all... <laughs> Y'all have to research and learn what these holidays are. These are pagan holidays. Like, you know, especially African Americans and things of that nature. Like, we were for, we all know we were, our ancestors were slaves. Okay? We were forced to come over here to America. This is not our country. This is not our, our land. Our people were forced to come over here. We didn't even speak the language over here. So, of course, they were illiterate over here because they didn't know the language or whatnot. However, Christianity, or it's, it's like the root is rooted from the Catholic Church. That was forced on our ancestors. Like, we didn't, our ancestors didn't know Christianity or whatnot. That's the, the stuff that they are teaching in the churches and stuff like that is not really what the content speaks of. Our initial, the roots of the African Americans, those that were um, that were kidnapped from like Africa and brought over here, they're the Israelites, they're Hebrews, they're the real Jews or whatnot. We were stripped, look, it's all in the Bible. I'm not making this stuff up. It's all in the Torah, the Bible. Look this stuff up. It even talks about how everybody know Jesus was black. Yahuwah, Yeshua Hamashiach was black. We all know that from the description in the Bible. We all know we were all, um, the people over in Israel, they not the for real Israel, real Israelites, we are, okay? So, like, my point of telling you that is that we were brought, it talks about that in the Bible, how we hit our, um, the people are his people were going to be brought over in on ships and how we were going to be under this curse and you know all of this stuff is in the word i will go more in detail in additional videos to come i'm not here to make anyone to condemn anybody or make anyone feel some type of way or just talking out the side of my head this is stuff that i have been researching over the last year and this stuff is true and i'm telling y'all every day is like uh, I'm learning more and more and getting more of an understanding and growing closer with the Father. But I got on here to share some things with you and also to encourage you and let you know that you are amazing. You, like I always say, don't ever let anyone validate who you are because you have be, been created to be an awesome you. Um, I want you all to be safe over the next, um, well, forever, but as long as you're here on earth, but I just want you to be safe over these next few days and, and love on your family. Don't get me wrong. Love on your family and things of that nature. But I just want to check in with you all. My channel is not going to stop unless the father tell me otherwise, but I want to encourage you as I'm encouraging myself and nevertheless, giving my father, Yahuwah. All glory and honor. All right. If you guys have any questions, want any prayer, um, feel free to comment. I don't even care about like subscribers or anything of that nature. If if I can, you know, encourage one person, I'm cool with that. I would love to encourage many, but it I'm only doing what the Father has called me to do. I love y'all. Take care. Until next time.